What's up guys, Ghost Rider 822005 here bringing an action figure video. Today I'll be reviewing my uh, custom Aaron Yeager Attack Titan form. Uh, this is probably going to be like a one shot review just because I don't feel like doing a ton of editing for this because I just want a little thing to post out and I haven't posted in a bit. So um, yeah, I'm a big Attack on Titan fan. I got into it over Christmas break and I've just been a giant fan ever since. So uh, accessories this guy's come with, he comes with his two fists, uh, look like that. I want to add some, uh, get some other fists and, like, add some of the, um, what's it called, the hardening, uh, knuckles. I want to do that at some point. <clears throat> I also gave him his, uh, hands. Uh, this is a, uh, there are some messy paint on there. I need to go back over there and touch that up. But, um, yeah, this is all, so, the, like, the base figure itself is the wild child body. And so, are these hands are from wild child. These other hands are from, uh, um, <clears throat> I believe these other hands are from uh, uh, Infinity War Captain America. The head's Wild Child, and the hair, which I haven't glued on yet because I ran out of super glue, is the Old Man Hawkeye hair. It's not glued on, but like it sticks down pretty well, so I'm not worried about it like, coming off really. So yeah, um, going into like just like the overall look of the figure, um, <clears throat> nothing too crazy. It's just some uh, I think it's what model color uh, skin tone paint. Uh, link for the um, paint in the description below. Um, yeah, so, uh, the feet joints, uh, the paint won't, um, stop coming off on there, so I need to go back and fix that at some point. And here in the arm, it's, I didn't paint it very well, but, like, it still moves, the paint doesn't chip, because, like, most of the arm part, it doesn't come off, so, like, it's not a big problem. Um, but, yeah, so, um, the yeah, overall look is pretty solid. There are some, like, maxed up chip paint everywhere here on the back a bit. Again, I need to go back over and paint some of this more. Articulation wise, he will look up about that much. He'll look down about that much. He will go side to side and basically all the way around. And he has amazing neck pivot. He does have butterfly joints still, those still move and all of that. Um, the arms move out about that much still. Again, to my knowledge, no articulation has been messed up, but you know, paint might rub off depends on how much you used i do suggest using mod podge to seal the paint it works perfectly for me and most of it's staying the arms will go forward that much back basically there's a whole 360 hair's coming off sorry um you know bicep swivel that works very good double jointed elbows which look amazing work great wrist will swivel hinge up and down uh, let me get down to the ab crunch. Uh, the ab crunch, again, same like Wild Child, crunches in. Again, the hair is not staying on. Hold up. All the way in. All of the way back. He does have a waist swivel. He will kick forward that much. Back that much. Out that much. He has a upper thigh cut. Double jointed knees. Ankles that'll go down, up. His hair came off. Down, up, and ankle pivot. I will need. I do need to go get super glue and super glue the hair down, but I just haven't quite yet, cause I don't have any. The amount I had, I ran out of. Um, but yeah, if you want to see how to switch out the hands, all you gotta do is just pop it out. I don't. I didn't paint the wrist pegs just cause I thought it was pointless. Um, but yeah, and you can put put these on like that. That looks pretty good. Pop those off. This right there. There we go. Good Lord, the hair is not staying on. Um, put that there. Yeah, he has his uh, grabby hands. I'm just pop this off. Let's take this off. So, overall, if you want to see a side by side, there should be a picture popping up on the screen right now of this uh, Titan Aaron figure next to the actual um Aaron. But uh, yeah. So. Yeah, let me give the guy a pose real quick while I talk about it. So, uh, this figure took up a couple days to make, just of, like, painting and everything like that. Uh, it's very, very simple custom. There's nothing too crazy. It's just, I think the hardest thing for me was uh, cutting the wild child hair off and peeling the Hawkeye hair from his uh, Hawkeye scalp. But, uh, yeah. I'm, oh, good lord, the camera almost fell over. I am really happy with how this guy came out. Uh, if you want to try it, all the stuff I use is in the link in the description below. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.